Hello and welcome to this video. This is the first ever requested video I'm doing. I was asked if I was going to review my Infernal Devices manga and just kind of show the artwork a bit. And because this is my favorite trilogy of all time, of course I said that I was going to do that because why not? I love this so much so of course I'm going to do this. The review part of this will be spoiler free but there might be some spoilers when I show some of the artwork because well, maybe you see something, but I'm not going to talk about what's happening, so I'm not going to outright say spoilers, but there might be some in the showing of the art. The first one is, of course, Clockwork Angel. The second one is Clockwork Prince. And the third one is Clockwork Princess. And these books are written by Cassandra Clare, and the art in these books are by Hugh Kong Bike? I have no idea to pronounce that, but yeah, sorry I butchered your name. If you don't know what The Infernal Devices is about, it's about Tessa who arrives in London and she's supposed to meet up with her brother Nate. This is in 1878. She's kidnapped by the Dark Sisters. She finds out that she's a shapeshifter. If she has something personal to a person, she can change into that specific person and kind of go into their brain and see what they're thinking about. And she is rescued from these dark sisters by a young man called William Herondale. Will takes her back to the institute where she learns what a shadow hunter is and a shadow hunter is someone who kills demons and protects the mundane, well the human world. At the institute she also meets Jem and Jem is Will's parabatai and he's very very sick and this just starts a whole lot of things because the ones who kidnapped Tessa is still after her and they want to use her for something. In the beginning, Tessa, Jem and Will don't know what this is, what they want to use her for, but they slowly figure it out and a lot of action and a lot of romance takes place in these books and in my opinion they are just amazing and that is why I bought the manga as well as I have two copies of the original trilogy. <laughs> Oops. They're just so great and so pretty. I really really enjoy a lot of these characters in these books. There are a lot of characters and in my opinion they're all very well developed and a lot of them develop a whole lot in these three books and in my opinion that is very important that there is some character development. The plot in my opinion is very well thought out and a lot of the times Cassandra Clare kind of fools us and makes us think that things are going in a totally other direction and then she throws in a plot twist and she's just amazing at writing stories and amazing at writing conclusions as well so I would really recommend that you read this. Now I'm going to show you some of the artwork in more detail. So this is the first book, Clockwork Angel, and it is well on the cover. Usually mangas are read from like behind and then to the front, but this one is actually read from left to right. That actually made it kind of easier for me, but I was actually kind of surprised by it because it's usually the other way around. When you first op open the book, there are the front cover again, and then there are a couple of colored pages which I actually like the best. I really love the color palette that they use in the first few pages, but then the rest of them are like matte paper and black and white. And it's not like the first chapter is colored, it's just the first, I think, five pages or something in each book. And then the rest of it is just black and white. And I'm just going to flip a bit through it. And I really like the manga style. Um, in the beginning, I had a bit of a hard time like distinguishing certain characters. In the beginning I had a hard time figuring out who was Sophie and who was Charlotte, but it actually just gets really easy after a bit of time because you figure out like how people are drawn and what specific things are with each person and that just makes it a whole lot easier. That's Magnus.
This is the second book, Clockwork Prince, and it's Gem on the cover. And yeah, as the other one, Gem on the first page. And then a couple of colored, very shiny pages, and then goes over to black and white again. And I just wanted to show you this page because this is where Jim slaps Will and Will doesn't remember it the day after. Well, he, he remembers that he's being slapped but he doesn't remember who slapped him and I just thought that that was kind of fun. And there's Gideon, Sophie, and I think that they're actually my favorite couple in this entire trilogy. I just love them so much. And this is the third book, Clockwork Princess, and it is Tessa on the cover. As with the first two, she is the first page as well, and like the others, a couple of colored, shiny pages. And then it's black and white again. This is a young Will and a young Jem, when Jem arrives at the institute when he was 12. Just think that's cute. Henry is the one who is most like a cartoon instead of a manga and I just think that he's adorable. That was it for this review and showing of the art. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.